Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys in today's video, we are going to discuss what happened to Alessandra Torresani after she played Claire on The Big Bang Theory. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. What happened to Alessandra Torresani after The Big Bang Theory? There's no doubt that playing even a minor character on a hit TV show like The Big Bang Theory would hopefully set someone up for a long career. Alessandra Torresani was already a recognizable actress before being cast on the show thanks to many years in the industry. Before Alessandra Torresani played Claire in several episodes of the sitcom, which aired in 2016 and 2017, she had starred on several other TV shows. She played Kirsten and Sarah Coleman in two episodes of Malcolm in the Middle in 2001 and 2003. After that, her two biggest roles included Haley on the sitcom Husbands and Zoe Greystone on the science fiction series Caprica. However, after playing Claire on The Big Bang Theory, Torosani only took on a handful of parts. She played Naomi in a 2016 episode of Lucifer and Duella Dent in one episode of Batwoman, which aired in 2020. She also played Amber in the 2018 movie Stepsisters, which tells the story of Jamila, a college girl who shows members of a sorority how to dance. While the Big Bang Theory guest stars have talked about being on set, and even the most minor players seem to have loved their time on the sitcom, Alessandra Torresani doesn't seem to have talked much about this time in her life. Whenever she is interviewed, she shows her smart and interesting personality and often shares her unique perspective. For example, when she spoke to PhyllisHerKolmagazine.com in 2010, she said that she loved the 30s and the 40s. When asked about Hollywood back then versus now, she said, it's not glamorous anymore. It is in its own way, but it's not what it used to be. Glamour now is going out to a club with celebrities. That's not what it was. There used to be a speakeasy, and people would wear gowns when they went out. It was great. Inside Alessandra Torresani's health issues and personal life. Since playing Claire on The Big Bang Theory, Alessandra Torresani has shared that she is bipolar, and she has been raising awareness of mental health over the past couple of years. In an interview with OneInOneLife.com, Torresani talked about having bipolar 1. She said that she learned that she struggled with this condition while meeting with an acupuncturist. She explained that when she was younger, she was told she had trouble because of her hormones, but the acupuncturist could tell that her anxious feelings sounded like bipolar 1. Sadly, she heard very negative things from people in the acting industry who said that she shouldn't talk about what she was going through or let people know. Torresini explained, Well, I finally reached the point of being over it. After almost 30 years, I was ready to discuss it properly in open and honest conversations. I was hearing other people's stories, and I thought if someone could help me, maybe I could help someone else. And that's how it all kind of happened. In the same interview, the actress explained that the experience of pregnancy also made her realize that there needs to be an important and meaningful conversation about mental health while expecting a baby and becoming a mother. She and her husband Sturgis Adams welcomed a baby girl in the summer of 2022. She said, Then I talked more about my mental illness and bringing that to light and my struggles with maternal mental health. Right before I got pregnant and announced my pregnancy, I did an article with People magazine about the importance of maternal mental health, because that is not discussed. In 2022, when she was pregnant, Alessandra Torresani told People that medication had allowed her to cope with her symptoms for a period of 12 years. But when she was given the advice that she couldn't take it during those nine months, she went off it, and she struggled several times throughout this time period. It's heartbreaking to hear that she was given that advice. Torresani told people, I had been told the second trimester would be the giddy time where you have bursts of laughter, the honeymoon phase. For me, it was the darkest phase of the pregnancy. I had never felt more out of my own body than I had pre-medication. That same feeling of being out of control. All I wanted was for someone to take my baby for five minutes and just let me scream. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. 